Hey everybody, Necro VMX here, and I'm playing Dragon Quest 4. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! So does I hit it! My yeah, phone was not going off before! Dragon Quest 4 Chapters of the Chosen. Just an email. On uh, the DS, and here I am in Endor, and we got all the equipment that I will need. And uh, the hero, Lodo's level 8, me and my are both level 13. Now, uh, we did learn about. A bunch of stuff, but we didn't go up to the castle yet, so let's actually go there. So you see this this wedding. We learned that Tornico uh head east, so we're gonna be chasing after him. But first let's let's go see the wedding and all that shit. Have you come to see the royal wedding? Just take one of the doors to the left or right and go on inside the castle. Welcome to Andor Castle, our doors are always open to all, commoners and royalty alike. I'm half an angel and these chicks are like powerful and shit, so King Norman's throne room is just upstairs. Oh, let's go say hi to Norman the nerd. Gotta say hi. Oh, but he's not here. He's, he'd be at the wedding. This is the royal throne room. I must ask that you don't run or make any unnecessary noise. Boop! That was an unnecessary. That was that was necessary. Actually, I needed to do that. Have you come for an audience with King Norman? I'm afraid he's attending the royal wedding at present. According to some ancient documents I've been reading, the Lord of the Underworld achieved the ultimate state of evolution. His powers were too formidable for this world, so the gods decided he must be sealed away. Sounds like he was a creature to whom the laws of evolution mysteriously don't apply. Okay, let's go up here. This table has to be clean enough that King Norman could eat his supper off it. I know I made this joke already in a previous video, but yeah, that that's what the table is designed for. I hope it would be clean enough for him to eat his supper of it, because that, it's a supper table, right? I never realized the princess had a secret love. She's so lucky being able to marry him like this. I suppose so. Folks say hey, there's an enormous desert far to the east of Casablanca. Yeah, that's where I'm headed next. They also say that if you cross the desert and visit the port town of the south, they have ships for sale and everything. Somewhere out there, the lord of the underworld is in the process of reawakening. It sure is. I heard that a man called Tornico managed to cross the desert in the Far East. He may just be doing it to make money, but I admire him for being brave enough to attempt a journey like that. And we're going to be attempting it too. Deary me, so many things to wash, not enough minutes in the day to wash them in. Is the castle kitchen. No shit. What's up, bro? Watch out for that Bizarro the Manslayer. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get to him eventually. Let's go check out the wedding. This is the Colosseum. The royal wedding is taking place here. All right, let's go check it out. Ah, you've come to see the royal wedding, have you? Just take the steps to the right up there to the spectator seats. This is the bride and groom's preparation room. Only family members are allowed inside. Oh. Bully for Prince Regan. The princess was the idol of us sailors first, you know. Yeah, it's our first. Can't beat a good wedding. Oh, I wish I was the one getting married. This must be the longest wedding I've ever been to in my life. Yeah, it's almost as if they were just... They just keep doing that, like, over and over again. Look at them, kissing they are. I don't know. And now they got their arms around each other and everything. The marriage is the devil, man, I tell you. My old lady's as cold as ice these days. You know, if the right person came along and proposed to me, I might just... Well, if it happened, thus, I could only... It'll only be the will of the goddess. I might just have to give up the life of the cloth, I suppose. Sorry, lady, I'm not interested. My wife was a beautiful young thing when I married her. Ah, those were the days. There's Norman the nerd. Is it, is it me or is there two of them? Oh, oh, you know what? Yeah, there's the king from uh, that other place. All right, let's 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 get the hell out of here. Let's go find Tornico. It is actually going to be a while before we find him. Because uh, he's he's got a bit of a head start, but that's the direction we're going to be heading east and there's a desert there Can i talked to you i did not yeah well the other guy said the same thing so fuck you all right Let's get the hell over there go 
with your Tourney Ghost Tunnel here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that sometimes happens where you get a prize just for going through. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Meow. Congratulations, you're the 1,000th person to pass through this tunnel. That means you're the lucky winner of a very valuable prize courtesy of King Norman of Endor. And the prize is 2,000 gold coins worth of casino tokens. But you can't wait to get down there and have a flutter. Congratulations again. I couldn't give a shit. Let's get out of here. Just give me 2,000 gold coins, that'd be better. It's interesting because if you put Mina or Maya in front, it gives you the music from their chapter. It's pretty cool. Bubble slimes! You guys don't stand a chance. Here's the desert. Nay! Oh shit, let's check out this this well here. Ain't nothing there. You want me to give you my wagon so you can carry on your journey to save the world? Sounds mighty fishy to me. You can't expect me to believe a tall to old tale like that. Never mind, I ain't in the mood for people right now. Get out of here, will you? Oh, fuck you, no. You're pretty slow, ain't you? Well, maybe I'll share a little story with you if you ain't budging. A long while back now, I was traveling around just like you are. I heard talk of the world's most important treasure being hidden in some cave. A friend and I moseyed on down to see what we could find. He was my best buddy, or so I thought. But then he went and stabbed me in the back. Huh. Makes me mad just talking about it. I ain't never trusted no one again. Now get out of here. Okay. Huh. Lunch. Fifteen gold. There's an inn here that we could avail ourselves of if I so wanted to. Now I'm in a pickle. I was hoping to borrow a wagon and cross the desert. That guy's a real hard nut. And you can't actually go to the desert without a wagon. So... See, a desert stretches off in the distance as far as the eye can see. It'd be impossible to cross such a large expanse without a wagon. Well, let's check out this uh, cave that he was talking about. Maybe we can get to the bottom of what happened to him and his friend. We got bantamweights! Paralyzed his ass. Ah, that's probably Lodo. Oh, it's Maya, level 14. Hit points up 6, magic points up 9, strength 1, agility 1, resilience 1, wisdom 4, luck 4, and she learned sizzle. Okay. Alright, thorny devils. Three of them. And the enemies are a little stronger over this side than they are in Endor. Here's the cave. But I'm actually going to meet you guys back here in a little bit. I'm going to, well, in a second. I'm going to pause. I want to I wanna level up just a little bit before I go in here. So I'll see you just in a second. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to level them up. Uh, really, I, uh, it was really Mina. Lodo's level 9. Mina's and Maya are both level 14. Uh, Lodo learned the Zoom spell, and Mina learned mid-heal. So that's really useful. Lodo already had mid-heal, but now we have two characters that can cast it. And since I was walking around fighting, let me just... All right, let's go in this cas uh, castle, this cave. Der, 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 der. Boop. Well, shit. I actually forget if there's random encounters here. There might not be. Shit! Oh, well, so much for that, huh? They're probably down here. Hey, you two! What the fuck? What you doing? It's pretty interesting what happens here. Oh, thank goodness you've come to rescue us. We've been waiting here for so long time. But we know you'll be coming to find us sooner or later. Ere, yes, we've been waiting a long, long time for you to fall into our trap. It's not really them. Two frolickers. Good thing I hit him because I got dazzled there. Alright. Shit! 
fuck. Alright. Here they are. Look, they're being chased. What has been taking you so long? We are really needing a rescuing here. What? You are fighting some monsters who look like us upstairs? Are you crazy, please? Come on. If you don't get moving, we will all be eaten alive. Mai is right. The monsters won't stop until they've sucked every last drop of blood. Out of you! Oh, shit! Yep. Yeah. Two Trixies, two Vampire Bats. It, it's giving you the boss music, even though these are not really that powerful, because you're alone. Any attack? I have, I have Frizz. That's, I'd rather just attack. It's not really a boss battle, but it gives you the boss music. See, I'm taking out the Trixies first because they uh, they do more damage. Should do it, and it does. And I leveled up. Lotus level increased level ten. Hit points up by eight. Magic points three. Strength 3, Agility 2, Resilience 1, Wisdom 1. No spells this time. Well, shit. Oh, only way to go, right? There they are again, or so you think. Wow, Luto! You've come to save us! Well, we're not so stupid anymore. We know you're just a monster who's looking like Luto. You're dead meat this time! No, wait, sis. I think this is really Loto. I can feel it. Maybe. Okay, then. I'll ask a question that only Loto would know the answer to. Mina was wasting all the money at the Endor Castle, right? I seem to remember it was Maya. Hmm, it was an easy-peasy question, but I suppose you must be the real Loto. I'm sorry we doubted you, please. It's just that we were attacked by so many monsters pretending to be you. We can't go on doubting you forever. I suppose you have to trust you. That's the point of this place. Okay, then, let's go. So they rejoin. Let's just do this. Alright, so let's go up this way. There's not much left, and I haven't run into any encounters, so I guess it really... just really isn't any monsters in this place other than the scripted encounters. Is this where I'm going? No, it's not. I'm going this way. There we go. This is too fun to do. You don't have to break them all, but like, why wouldn't you? It's too fun. Like, smashy, smashy. Oh, that's great. All right, now, let's see. You probably going this way, actually. Yeah. And there we have. We have the symbol of faith. Bum, bum, bum. All right, let's head back to Hank Hoffman there, and maybe he'll learn a thing or two from this experience, even though he wasn't with us. The symbol of faith will make him see that he's being a bit of a dick. What's that? He thinks that him and his friend came here and his friend betrayed him, but clearly it was probably a monster pretending to be his friend, so let's head back to the desert inn. Well, that's a lot of jinxsters. I got six of them. Not that I'm worried, because they usually don't have enough magic to cast whatever spells they want to. Die. Oh, what do we got? A game with the Jinxters, and they suddenly attack! Well, shit! You know, I might cast magic on them just to make this go a little faster, because there's six of them. We'll have, we'll have Maya do that. Since I have Sizzle. You guys haven't even seen Sizzle yet. Okay. 
got a hard on for Maya. I just realized Mina should be in that position because she's got the higher defense, but they join me up weird. Let me uh let me fix that. Actually let me actually make sure that she has the higher defense. Oh yeah, by quite a lot. Um Okay, that's fixed. Maya just wanted to be near Lodo. Pixies! Two of them! Easy stuff. First thing I'm going to do, though, is use the inn here before I even talk to him. You meet the guy... Oh, I didn't talk to him behind the counter here. That's his, that's his dad. Did you meet the guy with the wagon? That's my kid. That kid's my only son, you know? Hank Hoffman Jr. He went off with a friend in the Eastern Cave a while back now. It was his horse Mary Lou who brought him back, though. Sakes alive, he was covered in blood. He ain't never been able to trust a soul ever since. Still don't know what happened to him at that cave. He won't even tell his own daddy. Now let's, uh, let's stay at the inn here. I managed to knock me out that time. Alright. What do you want, huh? Wait a minute. Sakes alive. What is that jewel you got there? Give him the symbol thing. You know, it's kind of funny. But just looking at this here jewel makes me feel cleansed somehow. So where'd y'all find this thing? You kidding me? Well, ain't that something. You find a symbol of faith in the place my partner betrayed me. Hey, wait a honey-fuggled minute. Wow, honey-fuggled. That's special. Maybe things would have been different if I'd believed in my partner that time. That cave must be some kind of faith test in place. The treasure I was after all that time was the faith to trust in folks. I sure was clueless. But now it's time to put it right. I'll start by trusting you. I want to join you folks on your journey. And my horse will be coming along too. So Hank Hoffman joins your party. He's actually a temporary party member. He won't level up or anything. It's kind of like, you know, Laurel and Hardy and Healy that we've seen so far. He's not one of the chosen ones. But we'll have him for a little while. So it's nice to have four characters. You can't control them, though. Let's get up on out of here. Yeah, I don't actually control this part. That's why I stayed at the end first. The horse's name is Mary Lou. She ain't no crow bait, so I'm sure you'll see her right. Get out, girl. So we now have the wagon. All right. You pretty much just like want to go south, but I want to fill out like the map, so I'm just gonna wander around a little bit to fill the map. Armored scorpions. Oh no! What over will I do? Damn. Lodo just went ham on that first one there. He's like, nah, kid, I ain't playing. More armored scorpions. You know, I could have I could have done this without the wagon. I'm just saying. The game makes you take the wagon. But I, you know. It's impossible to cross without a wagon, really? Okay, no, it's ain't that big. That's fine though. Got a sweaty Yeti. With a sweaty wiener. Sweaty balls. Get that reference. Tell me in the comments. Sweaty wiener balls thing. You know what that's from. Oh, we got Stump Grumps and a Bodkin Bowyer. Man, fuck off with that shit. The snooze! Oh, eat the entirety of my dick. Oh, hell no. Now we gotta make sure they die. Oh, fuck. Only Hoffman's awake. Wake up! You gonna let this fucking hillbilly do everything for you? He's not even a chosen one. Thank you, Lodo. That should be good. Alright, let's go to the egg. So what do you get? He's in a wrestle armor. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Hoffman's gonna come out with a big attack now, I assume, since he's mustering a stray. That wasn't too bad. I heal up after this. Mina's looking a little ragged there. Boom, fucker! Mm 
Fuck off, buddy! Quite the battle. Let's heal up. Oh, meow, meow, meow. We got armored scorpions. Four of them. Critical! Another critical! And y'all are dead. Let's see, level, level, Lodo leveled. Lodo leveled to level 11. That is some alliteration right there. Eight points up, eight magic points up, three. Strength, three agility, two resilience, one wisdom, one luck, two, and he learns Sis. Which is good. Got crested vipers. Four of them. Let's fuck them up. Fucked them up. And there's the next town. I believe this one's Bath. Something like that. Hmm. How do they talk here in Bath? I'm probably not going to be coming here a whole lot. You know what? They're Canadian in Bath. Let's see that. Welcome to Bath, town of Bath. The perfect place for travelers to rest their achy bones after a long time on the road. And yes, I'm aware that not all Canadians talk like that, but the Canadians in Newfoundland do. So this is like Newfoundland. Whatcha? New to this place, are you? All right. Okay, never mind. They're clearly Cockney. Fuck that. We're doing Cockney. Whatcha? New to this place, are you? Well, it's about to give you old Grant all then, eh? Sure, why not? Nice. Right, then. Step this way. So we're doing Cockney accent for the bath people. They're gonna show us the bed, they're gonna show us the bath, they're not gonna show us beyond. Ah, it's a weapon in all my shops and all that business. Don't do much trade, but they ain't bad. Yeah, I'll be checking that out. And here we have the item shop. Ain't much in the way of souvenirs though, if that's the kind of stuff you like. Nah, I mean, they potions and herbs and shit. As you can see, it bears the graveyard. It's the burial ground of the great warrior Bladud, what say for town once. Bladud? And this is the church, see? This is where the town's greatest treasure's kept. Let's go take a look. Greatest treasure, huh? Oh, look at that. It's shiny. Excuse me, Alda. Uh, I mean, Sister Alda. Mind if I show these ponters the old you know what? Of course, the goddess welcomes all folk. So this is it, the famous armor a wood old blood would used to wear. Apparently it's got some amazing powers or something like that. Well, shit. And I gotta end this video soon, but I feel... You know what? Go through the tour, and then end it. The tour's almost over anyway. And this is the bath. Bath's bath, I, I like to call it. <laughs> Get yourself in there, and your aches and pains will soon be gone. Bath's bath. So, uh, where was you lot playing on staying tonight? Only I can honestly recommend this place here. It's clean and comfortable, and the innkeeper's a top gazer and all. Actually, that inn's kind of overpriced, so I'll probably be going in the other one. Anyway, I'm going to stop the uh, video here. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit. More Dragon Quest. Oh.